Assalamu alaikum guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Dr. Hasna and today we will talk about the ossification of clavicle. The clavicle mainly ossifies from two primary center that appear right over here in the middle of the clavicle. Ek center idhar hota hai aur ek in center idhar aata hai. These two centers are first to, as I mentioned earlier, it is the first long bone to start ossifying. Hence, these two centers appear at the 5th to 6th week of intrauterine life. Embryo mein, 5th to 6th week pe, two primary centers appear in the collar region. And these start ossifying. Ossifying meaning bone formation. These centers ossify by 5th to 6th weeks. And then these centers fuse by the 45th day of intrauterine life. Moving on. Secondary center appears in the medial end. And the secondary center appears at the age of 15 or 16 years in a teenager. The secondary center fuses with the rest of the shaft by 21 years of age. The type of ossification that the clavicle undergoes is membranous ossification, which also makes it unique from other long bones. While other long bones usually ossify in the endochondral ossification, whereas clavicle undergoes membranous ossification. Two primary centers aate hain, inki membranous ossification hoti hai. However, when there is a secondary center, this undergoes cartilaginous ossification, or you can say endochondral ossification. Hence, you can call this entire ossification process in clavicle the membranocartilaginous ossification. Moving on, let's talk about the clinical significance and the clinical anatomy of the clavicle. The clavicle is a very common bone to undergo fractures. So we are going to talk about two fractures of the clavicle. The most important part about the clavicular fracture is that there is a point of weakness where most of the fractures usually take place. And this is the junction of the medial two-third and the lateral one-third right here. So majority of the fractures of clavicle take place in the junction of the medial two-third and the lateral one-third as this is a site of weakness of clavicle. Let's talk about adults first. If an adult falls down on an outstretched hand, to hota ye hai, that the clavicle undergoes complete fracture in which two fragments are formed. Medial or lateral fragment form ho jata hai. The lateral fragment is displaced downwards due to the weight of the limb. However, the jo medial segment of the fracture hota hai, this usually due to the attachment of the sternocleidomastoid as I mentioned earlier, it is displaced upwards due to the pull of the sternocleidomastoid. Yaha trapezius hota hai, trapezius nahi baja pata because the weight of the limb is too much. Hence, this is a complete fracture in the adults of clavicle which usually occurs at the junction of the medial two-thirds and the lateral one-third and it occurs due to fall on outstretched hand. Moving on, we talk about another type of fracture usually which occurs in the neonates and children younger than 10 years. This is known as the green stick fracture of the clavicle. In neonates or children younger than 10 years, there is a specific type of fracture that occurs in the clavicle called the green stick fracture. Green stick fracture is basically an incomplete fracture, which means crack aa jata hai bone mein, lekin ek side se bone jodi rehti hai. Upar ka jo crack hai, uski wajah se zyada displacement nahi hoti. Hence, that is known as a green stick fracture, which is most commonly occurring in children younger than 10 years and neonates. Neonates may aise hota hai ke during the normal vaginal delivery, a neonate with broad shoulders usually aise ek crushing force aata hai, jis wajah se jo uske shoulders hain, jab wo narrowed, narrow ho jate hain, jis wajah se iske clavicle ke andar crack aa jata hai, green stick fracture aa jata hai. So, that's how the green stick fracture occurs in neonates and children younger than 10 years. So that's it for the clavicle. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching my channel for more videos on bones. Thank you.